All right, what's up everyone? Welcome back to Compound Interesting. Sorry it's been a few days since I released the video. I was down camping in Wicklow in Ireland. Had a great time, I'm sure you're very happy to hear. But anyway, uh, in today's video, I want to talk about a couple of bullish things about Spotify that I haven't heard anywhere else on YouTube or anywhere else. So these aren't like set in zone things. These are just kind of my ideas after listening to the Spotify earnings call recently, where Spotify could potentially be going down in the future. And I don't think these couple of things are going to completely change the business or add hundreds of billions of dollars in market cap but I think they could be a few like you know cherries on top to the already existing business. I've already made a video on Spotify where I went really in depth and the main growth factors for Spotify have, remain unchanged in my eyes and those remaining I'll quickly go through those main bullish, bullish factors for Spotify so what I've established from the earnings call is that Spotify wants to be the leader of audio. They want to be everything audio encompassing. So basically Spotify are replacing the radio. So they done excellently with the first half of replacing the radio. So what do you do when you listen to the radio? Generally you're listening to music. So Spotify have that nailed. And the next thing that you usually hear on radio is news. So they don't really have that yet. Or talk shows. And that's exactly what Spotify have been their next step right now that everyone for the last number of months has been talking about is Spotify going after, you know, talk shows, i.e. podcasts. So still in the US, 80% of people listen to the radio and gradually over time, those people are going to convert into Spotify or other streaming services and radio eventually will completely die out. So there's still enormous growth for Spotify as well as other competitors. But I do believe Spotify will be the number one, continue to be the number one player in the streaming audio market because Spotify are no longer just a music service, they're an audio service. So you have to start thinking about them as an audio service and everything that goes with audio. That's what he was really, really, Daniel Ek, the CEO was really pushing to really expl explain that in the earnings call. We are no longer a music company, we're an, we're an audio company. So I'm quickly gonna run you through those main bullish factors for Spotify and then we'll run through the kind of the moonshot ideas of mine for Spotify that are just kind of hints that I'm gathering from the CEO, but there's not a huge amount of backing behind them at all. These are just kind of my speculations of what Spotify could do and maybe will do in the, in the long future that could add a lot of market cap. So the main advantage of streaming rather than radio is that you can choose the content that you listen to. You can choose the music that you put on and especially with like long form talking content, you really want to be able to choose what you're listening to. Well, personally, I would. I think maybe older people still like to not have to choose the music or the kind of podcasters or radio hosts that they listen to. They like to just pick a station and get that chosen for them. But if you don't like choosing yourself, obviously Spotify have you covered there as they have their own unique uh, algorithm, al algorithmically chosen playlists for music and for podcasts. So they're getting better and better at finding and selecting the stuff that you will like personally. So I think we all know that podcasts are in extreme, extreme growth. I've, ta I've talked about this before, so I'm not gonna go too into it, but there's enormous revenue potential for that in the fact that podcasting is going to bring an enormous amount of users onto the platform. And a lot of the those users are gonna be free users at the start, just using the free ad supported service and will eventually convert into premium subscribers with getting the whole ecosystem of free music, or sorry, unlimited music, unlimited podcasts with no ads, et cetera, et cetera. And Spotify are doing this by having original content, content that you can't get anywhere else. So they didn't do this with music. They believe music, uh, everyone should be able to listen to music on any platform. They didn't really go after having their own uh, original music on their platform. I, I, I think that was a nice idea. I don't really like the thought of that. But having original podcasts is possibly a game changer because anyone who wants to listen to the Joe Rogan podcast, for example, obviously the biggest podcast in the world and the biggest podcast acquisition ever and probably that there ever will be for a number of years. Such a fantastic idea from Spotify, in my opinion. It's obviously going to bring hundreds of millions of Joe Rogan listeners over because he has millions of subscribers on both Apple Podcasts and on YouTube. They also mentioned on the earnings call they were asked about the video functionality that they will be bringing onto Spotify. And maybe this was one of the things you thought was my extreme or my moonshot ideas for the future to be like kind of a rival to YouTube. 
but Daniel Ek said that's not really part of the vision they're just kind of offering that as you know uh, an accompaniment to the podcast so if a podcaster wants to you know show something or show something on a screen show some images along with the podcast it's going to be more like that rather than trying to rival with YouTube because yeah they're not going after that market just so you're aware of that so videos aren't going to be one of the cherries on top okay so I know for about what's already kind of obvious or what I've already kind of explained before in my previous videos about Spotify my first kind of prediction about Spotify uh, in the fact that they want to become a complete audio platform giving offering everything audio wise it just kind of made so much sense to me when Daniel Ek just kept going on about this is audiobooks like if you're going to be an audio platform audiobooks just has to be involved now Spotify already offer audiobooks especially ones that are kind of you know free uh, public content like Lord of the Rings and stuff like that however I think they have the opportunity to have their own original audiobooks of like you know current bestsellers and kind of rival with Audible now do I think they can uproot Audible I think that would be a very difficult task to outtake Audible already so Audible have Audible don't actually re release their numbers like of how many people Audible is owned by Amazon and Amazon don't release the numbers for Audible so I, I've had to estimate how many users they have so Audible they allowed us to know that they have many millions of users so we know at least they have multiple millions and we've all, I've also been managed to find that they had they've had 725 million total downloads for their books so 2550 725 million books have been downloaded on the audible platform and using the an estimation of the number of paying subs along with the revenue amount that they've given for audible in their entire life, lifetime i've come to a number of about 10 million audible users so that's probably within an order of magnitude the correct answer so probably plus or minus a few million so it could be 20 million it could be 4 million so in and around that now let's compare this to the number of Spotify users and how much market cap this could add to have that number of users premium users because these users are paying 10 euro a month to use the audible platform so Spotify has 138 million users growing at 20% a year roughly so 138 million growing at 20% a year compared to Audible, which has about 10 million users, also growing at about 20% a year. So this would add about 8% in market cap and growth for Spotify alone, just on that fact alone, if Spotify had the same business incorporated into Spotify, if they had Audible's current users incorporated into the Spotify. But let alone, like, I just think that would be so useful to have your audiobooks, your podcast, your music, all in one platform, all in one little app that you can listen to on your phone, listen to, to it on when you're driving in your car, because obviously all cars are going to be electric in the future, so they're not going to really offer a radio, or radio is going to be one of the minor features. The main features will be streaming services like Spotify, and Spotify will, will be the main streaming service in the future if they're offering podcasts and music and hopefully audiobooks. Audiobooks are in extreme growth, just like Spotify's in extreme growth, audiobooks are in extreme growth as well. In the US alone, 675 million books were sold. So that's about $7 billion in revenue from book sales, from physical book sales. Now, I think now audiobooks are taking market share away from the physical book sales. I'll put up a graph for you now but audiobooks are climbing slowly and slowly and physical books are declining because you can't read a physical book while you're doing the dishes. It's much easier to listen to an audiobook while you're doing the dishes, while you're driving the car or while you're doing something else that requires your hands and eyes. So that's a $7 billion total addressable market for audiobooks in the US alone that Spotify can eat into. But of course, Spotify is a global platform, so the worldwide is about 2.2 million so about a 22 billion dollar revenue opportunity if i'm if you say every book is about 10 dollars on average so a 22 billion dollar revenue opportunity for audiobooks uh, compared to spotify's current revenue which is 7 billion so three times their current revenue if they somehow manage to take all the sales of physical books and sell them through their audible 
their incorporated audiobook platform in Spotify. I'm just giving you the total addressable market. I know I'm not giving you a prediction here, but I'm just saying this this could add an enormous amount of market cap and revenue to the company if they offered audiobooks on this platform. <coughs> now, I don't know if they would do audiobooks in the same way that Audible does. So like, for example, I was thinking, okay, you pay $10 a month and you can get music and podcasts, or you pay $20 a month and you get music, podcasts and audiobooks or you just pay $10 and get all three and the audiobooks just ask, act as a loss leader or something just to get more users onto the platform. I'm not sure how it would work. But then again, this is just my moonshot, just my speculation. They've never talked about this anywhere. They've never really mentioned this. There are audiobooks already on the platform, but I just think this makes a lot of sense in my eyes if I was the CEO to really push after audiobooks. But right now they're really focused on podcasts. But I think after they've nailed podcasts, which I believe they will, I think they need to move on to audiobooks. I think that's the next logical step. Now, what's the next logical step after that, in my opinion? So the next logical step for Spotify is to be kind of become a new social network. A social network, networking values can attract a lot of users to the platform. I, I just forgot to mention that Audible is banking about $1 billion in revenue, revenue every year and is growing at a double digit rate. So if Spotify could incorporate a similar business into Spotify, that would be fantastic. But uh, back to the social networking. So Spotify are already releasing some social networking kind of features. So now you can make collaborative playlists. So I've used this, I've used a lot of these features. So me and my friends made a collaborative playlist for uh, a trip away we had. So we all put in some heavy, heavy techno, because that's what we're into, into a, a collaborative playlist so we didn't always have to swap music we could just play the playlist and similarly in the same vein if you want to create a queue you can create it this is just uh you can't actually do this on every platform yet or sorry it's just being tested but i think it makes sense but you can make a collaborative queue so someone can join a party and add some music to the tune or some music to the queue and someone else could add music to the queue so that's kind of adding to the social network network vibe on top of that, now you can follow your friends on Spotify. So I went camping with a guy I hadn't met before and he really liked my music. So he wanted to follow me so he could see all my playlists and see all my music. So that's another social networking. They're just starting all these things out. But I think the potential of this is enormous. If you can make this more into a social networking vibe like Facebook or Instagram, but just, much, but just for music, I think their potential here is huge. So why do I think this moonshot is so huge? Like actually have a social network that's just all about music where you can put your, maybe a profile, post, profile photo, people can follow you, see your music, like what you're listening to, like your playlist, follow your playlist, and you can, you know, follow famous DJs and just make it more into a social network and just add that for free, add that service for free, to get that network effect that social networks bring. Like when Facebook, really took off it was because of the network effects because if i get facebook i want my friends to get facebook so i can you know interact with people so i'm not just there on my own so maybe spotify if they advance these features and really go after the social networking vibe that spotify could potentially do they could get some of that networking power that facebook or instagram or any of the other social network apps uh, have done so there's just a couple of moonshot ideas that just came to me when if say if I was working in Spotify these are some suggestions that I would give to the CEO and what they're probably thinking or these are kind of just hints that I've gotten from listening to conferences calls and researching the company and seeing what would make sense and from what they've already started to do on their platforms like adding these kind of social features I think these ne these are the next following steps for Spotify once they na nail down podcasts they nail down in-car driving integrations and they nail down, then they can start looking at those kind of more moonshot ideas like audiobooks and a social network. And please let me know if you have any other ideas about Spotify, any other kind of moonshot ideas or what you think of my ones, if you think they make any sense or if they're totally stupid and if they're a waste of time. But I do think those couple ideas could add a lot a huge amount of revenue and a huge amount of users onto the platform which obviously means revenue in the long term and what do i think about spotify stock price right now so when i first started looking at and buying spotify 
it, it it's like double since then so the last time i did a video i think it had a market cap of 33 billion and now it's 45 billion uh, and i've been buying the whole way up and i bought another share yesterday so yeah i'm still buying at these prices so just full disclosure i think spotify will be a 100 billion dollar company in the future but obviously i want to get it a little bit cheaper i think it is quite quite expensive right now so if the stock price did drop again i would be happy very very happy to pick up shares but if it doesn't i will still be picking up shares at these prices because i really really like this company and um, if you want to full in-depth analysis on spotify i highly recommend you watch that video but these are just kind of an off-the-cuff idea video rather than a full in-depth analysis into all the numbers like i usually do so this is so watch that video if you want to base for spotify everything you need to know and this is just kind of you know messing around throwing some ideas out there trying to get a bit of back and forth uh community uh bit of back and forth commentary on this stock and see if anyone else has some cool or interesting ideas for spotify so let us know in the comments or join us in the desire in the sorry in the discord chat also links below oh and i also finally made a full reading list of all my favorite books which i'll be adding to over time but all my favorite books You'll see a link in the description which will take you to an Excel sheet where you'll find all my favorite books in order um, because someone asked me to do that so I did that for you, no problem. Um, so I really, really hope you enjoyed the video as always. Thank you so, so much for watching. I really, really appreciate it. I can't wait to see you in the next video. I really hope you enjoyed. Thanks again. Goodbye.